Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity. Today, I am going to be eating a japagetti, which is a, yeah, instant black bean noodle. Yeah. <laughs> and, but I added a truffle oil in there. <laughs> Let's do it. So I'm gonna mix it a little bit because the fact that so it's been like a craze in Korea to eat it like this. Mm, very strong in truffle taste. So, usually when you cook this, well, at least when I was growing up, we had to drain it out and then cook it, but... Hi, kid. But, um, these days, I guess, you just cook it until water's gone, all evaporated. So when you cook it, there's flake, there's this black paste. And I'm his booty. No, um, and it comes with this oil. It's called uh, vegetable oil, which gives this like shiny texture to the noodles and make it look all that pretty and sh you know. But this girl named Hwasa from this TV show, Na Hunja Sanda, it's like I live alone, I guess. Uh, she put a truffle oil and it got huge. A few of you guys did ask if I could do one, so I have decided to do one now. First time I had ever had a truffle, which is like that super, super freaking expensive mushroom, I would say. Uh, and first time I ever tried it was in France with Kimmy. I never tried truffle before until then, and I believe it was a pasta. The best pasta I ever had in my life. Not from home. Because Kimmy makes the best pasta. <laughs> She really does. I love Kimmy's cooking. I think I'm, I'm like grown to it. So that's why if I go to a restaurant, it just becomes like average to me. I'm like, oh, okay. But then when I eat Kimmy's cooking, it's like, oh, this is amazing. So Kimmy mentioned it not too long ago, like saying, hey, maybe you're just grown to my cooking. That's, that is all. And which most of us are grown to our family cooking, right? Like how my mom made this and then that's the standard of good, right? And then if you go try it somewhere else, it's different. And in Korean, right, every household mother makes the best kimchi jjigae or father. So Hwaza is a... She's in a K-pop group called Mamamoo. So she's super popular. Uh, she she made this um, eating an intestine like super popular by doing so in a, that same show earlier. And she goes again. Lit. So the truffle oil can you describe the taste? So I'm not sure if you say it's like acquired taste, but it is um, somewhat earthy and garlicky. Um, it's it's a little different.
and then we bought it for from Amazon. It was like over almost forty bucks, or thirty six or something. And it was this tiny. So I guess it's pretty rare and expensive. But it's so strong, that oil from truffle container. I think I should put like a little less. It's very, very oily. And that's, it's very strong flavor. I think the japagetti, the, the black bean taste, like paste, is still yet strong and try to add more of truffle oil flavor to it too. I don't think I could eat more than like this amount. Like if you try to go for more three bags or four bags, I'm definitely gonna need kimchi or something. I really think in pasta is much better. And I heard um, if you could train your dog to uh, sniff out the truffle, like mostly in um, France or like, I think Italy or something, they, they will steal your dog because it's so valuable. Let me look it up. Is truffle more expensive than gold? First thing, European white truffle can sell for as much as three thousand six hundred dollar a pound, making them as their fellow fungi and most expensive food in the world. Whoa! So, one two pound truffle recently sold for more than three hundred thousand dollar, which was a white truffle. So. I'm pretty sure this is not white truffle because then it would cost more than like 30 something bucks.
Why are they so expensive? Chopo is so expensive because the fact that you can't farm them. And it's since they grow inside of the roots of the trees and like it grow in specific soil only. Um, it's not it's not like go spread a seed and then be like grow my child. No. <laughs> so that's why it's so expensive. If I could farm a truffle, I will be flying in helicopters to go grocery shopping. Like, you could try truffle once or twice and you could decide on yourself if you like them or if it's worth the money. But I realize almost all like super fancy like high-end restaurants and stuff, they like, you know, caviars and like, they always had truffle something. Once again, thank you so much for joining my video today and hope you guys have a great day and you guys have a good one.